What is up, YouTube and Instagram? It is your boy Red Hood the Collector coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be an anime pop review, haul, whatever you want to call it. Today I got a lot of anime pops in. Most of them are common and one exclusive pop tee. First one we're going to go in, first thing we're going to show off is the pop tee. It is the Madara Uchiha, so you can see it. It's a pop tee. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and show off the exclusive pop, and we will go ahead and unbox it as well. But as you can see, it is the new Madara, the reanimated one with the uh, Kama, and I keep forgetting what the hell the fan's called, but that's pretty cool. And it is in the new wave, in case anybody's wondering. So let's go ahead and open it up, guys. And as you can see, I'm also in my new studio. So that's pretty cool. New place to record. All right. Here is the new Madara in all its glory. Now, a lot of people were bitching about this pop because it's kind of not canon. Kind of is. Kind of ain't. I like it because it's Madara. He's one of my favorite villains from Naruto Shippuden. So definitely had to get it and had to keep the Naruto set complete. So he's like I said, he's got the fan. It's got the different symbols on it. I don't remember if the other one had the detail like that on there. So that's really good. Especially the sickle and chain. Mine is completely intact. I know a lot of people, theirs were bent or something like that. So that's pretty cool to see. There's the back of it. You can see the chain. So that's really cool. They did a really good job, especially on the Renegon. You see the Renegon? It's the amount of detail that they did on this pop is... It, just, it never ceases to amaze me what Funko does. But that is the new Madara, guys. In case anybody was interested in a unboxing of that one. Now the next couple of pops are coming from one of my new favorite animes. My best friend, he's probably going to end up commenting on this video. Of course, I'm going to end up tagging him. He ended up uh, constantly for years has been begging me, begging me, and begging me, and begging me to watch One Piece. You guys are also probably noticing that I don't put out that many videos. That's because I was watching One Piece because he bet me I wouldn't be able to catch up to it in about six to nine months, which I did. I caught up to the Wano arc. I am currently in the Wano arc. I believe I'm 955 episodes into One Piece, and I started from episode one last year, so that's pretty much a lot. So the first one we got actually comes from the Wano arc. It is the Luffy Taro Pop. Now this one I won't unbox because a lot of people have already gotten it, so I'm not really going to unbox it. So as you can see, there's the Luffy Taro. It's the rest of the pops in the wave. Sadly, the Zoro did get canceled. This is official now. He got canceled. But you have uh, Bone Kichi, a.k.a. Brooke, Crocodile, Sabo, and Luffy Taro. And in case you guys are wondering, there is a uh, metallic variant of Luffy Taro. And I did get that. I got it all of the restock. Shout out to Pop Baron for letting me know about that restock so I could get it. So I actually have this whole wave complete. I'm just waiting for uh, Bone Kichi to come in and Gear 4 Luffy, which already shipped. So the next one we got is Sabo, which I know a lot of people did not open this one. So we will go ahead and open Sabo and review him, guys. Yes, I know. Brant's opening up a pop. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, and it actually comes with a stand. It's dope. Stand on the bottom. But he's going to be in the box, so who cares? But you have Sabo. And this looks like it is his... Yep. It's his normal attire. Of course, it's. I believe this is the first appearance back from... The Dressrosa arcs, so that's pretty cool. Once we get more uh, characters from that arc, I'll definitely pose them next to it. But I'm definitely going to have him pose next to Ace. Because that's... Got to have the three bros together. So as you can see... Did they even get his... Oh, they even got his scar! 
I don't know if I can get if it'll focus in there, but you can see he even had they even got the scar on um, the pop just like he did and has in the anime. So that's really cool that Funko added that on there. That's a nice detail. Then of course his uh, pipe with the flames on it from the matter matter fruit, aka the flame flame fruit, whatever you want to call it. But that is dope. I really like the detail that they did on this one. So there's that. Go ahead and put this off on the side as well. And the last pop we have is one of my favorite villains from, I think it was the second arc from One Piece. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, because there's so many arcs. But this was one of my favorite arcs. This comes from the Alabasta arc. It is our man, Crocodile. I had to, you know, I ended up having to get every One Piece pop, but... This was the one that I was most excited for from this wave, you know, besides the Zoro pop, which everybody wanted, but Crocodile just looks amazing, guys. Let's go ahead and open him up as well, because I know not many people are opening him. I actually have another set of these coming in. So let's go ahead and crack it open. All right, here is Crocodile and all his awesomeness and badassery. As you can see, he's got a cigar in his mouth, summoning a, appears to be a sand twister, so he's probably going to do a sandstorm. They even got his hook right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, his hook was bronze in the anime. It's been a while. Like, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen Crocodile, but they get... They even got his uh, fucking sweater right in there, too. That's pretty dope. He's got the earrings. Th this is just a badass pop. They need to do more villains for One Piece because they're doing a lot of the heroes and the straw hats. So it would be pretty It'd be pretty nice to see, you know, um, how's that uh, hair-lipped bastard's name? Uh, fuck, I keep forgetting his name. But, um, you know, the, the one with the white... <laughs> Yeah, you know, has the light powers. I keep forgetting his name. Ah, uh, fuck. Because there's so many different characters in there. But I definitely want um, Aka Inu. Aka Inu would be pretty cool. Definitely as a glow chase. With the lava fist. Oh. Or Aokichi with his ice and do a glow chase out of that. Or metallic, whatever you want to do. But that's going to do it for the review, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell for the notifications when I upload a new video. That's going to do it. Later, Red Hood signing out.